and it will get to a point you accent them it it annoys them that you are asking them for the, your own money never sell on credit to anyone no matter the the relationship you have with the person every little counts in business there are some of them if you ask them oh now say 50 cents the annual 50 cents is nothing don't rely on your friends don't rely on your family some will support you yes some will not support you but this is very difficult for people to trust people because there are a whole lot of scam a whole lot of fraud out there hello fam i'm mavis a Ghanaian living in belgium and you are so much welcome to my channel oh yes please if you enjoy watching this video kindly give me a thumbs up kindly subscribe and kindly drop your comments okay and um, i want to share a bit about a side hustle i've been doing a side hustle for a while now i want to share what have helped me and what didn't help me and also the uh, people i have worked with so far what they did that helped them and what didn't help them yeah i work as a nurse but i i have a side hustle and my side hustle is i sell cooking pots like cooking utensils i sell um, ice chairs blenders halogen sharpening dishes set of knives you name it like everything for the house or something for parties that's, that's what i do for a side hustle if you want to start a side hustle dealing with africans most of the people i sell to are Ghanaians. some are nigerians um some are also from togo and then from other countries but they are all africans i like i have sell to white people i think three or four white people but almost all my customers are africans and i'm going to share the adv the advantage and disadvantage of working with africans and what you shouldn't do if if you are like doing a small business with africans yeah so if you are interested in this video then please kindly keep watching the first thing i will talk about is never sell on credits if you want to have a successful small business or side hustle or small online business i would say online because i sell my goods through facebook through tiktok through instagram and through my whatsapp status i post them and people see it people from all over in europe okay i shipped to germany i've shipped to germany i've shipped to um, italy i've shipped to spain denmark and um, holland and some other european countries yeah so what I will, the first point is never sell on credit to anyone, no matter the, the relationship you have with the person. Okay. Because if you sell on credit to, to them and you will give them maybe three months for them to do the payment or four months for them to, to do the payment. And if they already have the goose, like you, you have already given them the item, they already have it so the payment becomes difficult the payment become difficult i don't sell on credit but the lady i was working with was selling on credit so what i did is i will give you three months if you have the cash then you pay all and i will deliver to you or i'll post to you but if you don't have all the cash in hand i'll give you three months you do your first pay, uh, pay, payment, I will keep the item for you, yeah? You do your second payment, and then after your third payment, you pay your postage to you, and I will ship to you. That's what I do, or I will deliver. But a lady I was working with um, was selling on credit, and after three months, like, l let me say I bring in goods, almost every three months almost every three months i bring in goods after three months i was going for uh, goose and i i am the one that bring the goose for her and she started with i think three thousand five hundred euros all her items were sold out but she didn't have money to bring in another goose why because she sold it on credit and most of the people are delaying in the payments they are not paying they are not going to the agreement she had with them so she ended up not having enough money to bring in goose 
and she had to go and do what borrow money to bring in another goods that's one thing you don't do i didn't sell on credit you finish paying i'll give you your goods i had money in my hands to bring in another goods so that is one thing i learned never sell on credit no matter the relationship you have with them unless you trust them 100 percent or you know the person that this person will pay as you will end up having unnecessary arguments with your client or with your customers and you end up losing customers because there are some people if you ask them one time oh i'll pay this time the day will come they don't have the money they won't also approach you themselves to tell you that oh i don't have the money this and this and this you have to go and ask them again and it will get to a point you accent them it it annoys them that you are asking them for the, your own money and it can bring argument and quarrel and all those things so that is point number one point number two if you start a side hustle don't rely on your friends don't rely on your family some will support you yes some will not support you most of the people that i i sell my my items to i don't know them anyway i don't know them but they buy from me and the people that i know they buy but they are not really a constant buyer so never rely on your friends or your family to purchase your item but rely on outsiders that is why you have to sell your item on social media because anybody can come and buy from you and for people to also trust you if you are posting your 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 goose or if you are doing your delivery make a video put it also out there don't post only pictures make video of your postage make video of your delivery so people will see and people will believe that if they if they give you their money you will post to them seeing is believing because nowadays it's very difficult for people to trust people because there are a whole lot of scam a whole lot of fraud out there so it's very hard for people to trust you even with with 20 euro to talk about 100 euro or 50 euro or 150 euro so you have to make people to trust you and that is when you are doing your postage you make video you put it on your social media when you are doing delivery you make video you put it on your social media then people will trust you people will start to contact you and they will buy from you they know that if they send you their money they will receive their item that you are not a fraud or a scam also if you are selling online show your face let people see who you are who is behind the camera show your face if it's possible show your face by showing your face people will also do what believe you somehow yes people will believe you some give you somehow but if you are doing your postage if you are doing your delivery make videos of it and put it out there and th that will let people believe you more yeah to earn the trust of people okay so the next step i will talk about is if you are selling to friends or family <laughs> that one too sometimes is a problem eh? you have to be straight really business is business if you are soft you can't do business really if you are soft or if you have a cool hat you can't do business business is business if the price is 80 euro 80 euro is for everybody if the price is 70 euro 70 euro is for everybody because it's normal if you are if you are buying an item from a friend i'm like oh it's a so oh reduce the price i'm your friend reduce it because i'm your friend oh because i'm your family member reduce it reduce it reduce it you reduce it you reduce you reduce you end up losing a lot in the beginning i was doing it okay she's my friend let me take 10 euro off okay she's my family member let me take 20 euro off you'll be losing your profit eh you gave your energy for nothing because you'll be losing your profits. They are your friends though. If you are giving to them as a gift, that's okay. But if you are selling, you are selling. If you are selling, you are selling. Don't go in a friend, 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 a family, family, family. Business is business. You have to be straight. This one, 
I learned the hard way, got to a point I had to be straight. If it's 130, it's 130. If it's 70 euro, it's 70 euro. If I sell 70, 80 euro, it's 70, 80 euro. No friends, no family. Business is business. Yes. My next point. <laughs> Would this happen to me? Like, have I experienced this? Is it 100 times? I don't know. Or 50 times? A lot of people, or most people, or some of the African people, they don't respect cents. Cents like, let me say, 50 cents, 20 cents, 80 cents. If they go to the shop to purchase an item, they purchase item like 3 euro 20 cents, 5 euro 50 cents, 9 euro 95 cents. But if they come and buy from their own African, you would tell them the postage is maybe 8 euro 75 or 6 euro 50. Together with the item, maybe it's 136 euro 50. The person will end up sending 136 leaving the 50 cents or maybe together with the item the person is supposed to uh, send 158.75 the person will send 158 euro leaving the 75 cents so from the start I, I will say like okay let me do it for this person and another person will come the the person will do the same thing so it got to a point if you send it i'll tell you please you send less money in business every little counts so if i'm supposed to post to or sell to 100 people and they all gave me um 75 cents less or 50 cents less you calculate 50 cents times 100 how much is that so um what i did was it got to a point i have to be straight and i have to stand on my feet that no your money is not enough you have to send the 50 cents. Oh, 50 cents. I can't send 50 cents. Uh, it's, uh, if I'm sending, it's not going through and blah, blah, blah. And uh, next time, if I can buy an item, I'll pay the 50 cents. I'll say, you send me two euro. Two, two euro will go through. I will send the one euro 50 back to you. Or you send me two euro. I will send the one euro 25 back to you. Everybody doing a side hustle, putting a whole lot of work because that is not your normal work. You have your normal work. And doing this extra, sometimes it's not easy, but we put in our effort to do it. So if we request for an amount, please kindly, kindly, if the amount is not okay for you, fine, then don't buy the item. But if you want to buy the item, then kindly respect the price. If it's 36 euro 50, send 36 euro 50. Every little count in business. There are some of them, if you ask them, oh, now say 50 cents, 50 cents is nothing. I said, if it's nothing, then please, for you to send me 136 euro 50, you send me 137 euro. If 50 cents is nothing, then you will dash me the 50 cents. Hmm? So, if you are in business, don't say oh, 50 cents is nothing, 20 cents is nothing, 40 cents is nothing. Every little count in business yes my next step that i want to talk about is give yourself some time before you start to spend your profits if you start a business if it's a side hustle give yourself some time before you start to use the money you are making out of the business because if someone like purchase an item and, and and maybe you earn 10 euro on every item or 15 euro on every item or 20 euro on every item and someone purchase one item you spend that 20 euro someone purchase another item you spend that you squander that one too at the end of a period of time you won't know like how much profit you are making out of the business but if you give yourself time like six months, minimum six months, maximum one year, you put the money that you earn out of it somewhere for six months or for a year, you will know that you will have a lot of profit. If it's 3,000, you know it's 3,000. If it's 6,000, you know it's 6,000. 
If it's 5,000, you know it's 5,000 euros. If it's 10,000 euros, you know it's 10,000 euros. With that amount of money, you can use it to do something beneficial for yourself or something profitable for yourself. Because some people will start a business, uh, someone will purchase an item, they start to spend the money. Someone purchase item, they spend, they squander the money, they squander the money without thinking that if the goods finish, I will have to go and bring in another. So if you keep on spending your profit and spending your money, the item will be like you will sell out all your item and you you won't have enough to bring in another goods that is also one thing that i've learned so far because i think because of this character um there is this lady i started with like i was the one bringing in the goods for her she was also squandering her money i told her hey you you better wait for some months before you start spending she didn't listen and it got to a point she, she have to bring money for for me to bring in another goods for her and she didn't have because she has squander her the money so if you want to stay in business give yourself some time before you start to spend then after six months oh you know that oh i started with three thousand euros now i have two uh, five thousand euros so that means I've made 2,000 euro profit. So the 2,000 euro is for me. Then you use that 3,000 to bring in another. If you want to use the 2,000 for something else, you can use it for something else. If you want to add up to bring more goods, you can use it to bring more goods. You don't spend while you start like Obu Onuma or start a year or start a new Odiska. No, no, you don't do it like that. The next point that I want to talk about is you need to have a book like a notebook a business book to keep records yes because with my i give people three months for them to do their payments yeah so when i started i like oh i started with four thousand euros or i started with four thousand nine hundred euros i started with five thousand euros and i give people three months um for them to do their payments I will, I will jot the, the money I started with. I will jot it down. If someone purchased item, I would, I write the person name. The date, the first, um, the person made the first pay, payment. I will write the date and how much they gave me. And then the second uh, time the person gave me the money, I will write the date and how much the person gave me. Cause sometimes some, someone will give you, let's say 40 euros. You will forget. The person can also forget. And the person will come like, I gave you 50 euros. Oh, I gave you 50 euros. So for you to be sure that the person gave you 50 euros. Sorry. So for you to be sure that the person gave you 50 euros, you have to go into your book to cross check. And this have really helped me. This have really helped me. And sometimes too, if the person is delaying in payment, um, in paying the, um, the amount um, in the three months that you have given the person, you can say, oh, it's more than three months. It's like four months now. Please, can you complete so that I can deliver or I can post to you? So you need a notebook to do what? To do your cross-checking, to jot things down, to manage your business, to know what is going and what is what. And so if I bring in goods, I write it down. I write the date. And then the amount of goods I brought in. Sika Mediko Shei so after some period of months, I will know that I started with maybe 5,000 euro. Now I have 7,000 or I started with 5,000. Now, now I have 8,000 euro. So I've made maybe 3,000 euro profit or I've made maybe 4,000 euro profits. So it's best you have a notebook to follow or to jot everything down. That is also one point that I have learned so far. I have done it and it has really helped me. And I'm still in this side hustle. I started with a lot of people, but most of them have stopped and I am still in it because I took it serious. Let me say it that way. I don't know why they start, they stopped, but I know some of them stopped because they, they, they sold on credit and it got to a point they didn't have money to bring in another goods. Some ended up having fights and issue with their customers and clients because they are refusing to do the payment. 
and one thing that i've also come to realize is when you are doing a side hustle or when you are doing any kind of business you need to have a lot of patience i don't have patience eh? <laughs> most of the times me i don't have patience i'm i'm tr me i'm i'm straight off i say the truth i won't lie i don't have much patience all the time but with this side hustle that i'm doing i have patience for my clients because if you end up having problem with everybody, nobody will come and buy from you. So if you if you if you don't have patience, you will end up having issue with a lot of people. Because the way some people talk to you sometimes, the way they will talk to you sometimes. If you don't have patience, you end up having problem with them. So there is this lady that bought an item from me. The person needed, I think, a brown color or orange color. And I mistakenly, it was my fault. I mistakenly sent a blue color to her. So she was like, oh, I I was interested in the orange color, but you, you shaped the blue color. I'm like, oh, I'm very sorry. Then I didn't check it well. I'm very, very, very sorry. So I told the lady, I'm going to pay for the postage since it's my fault. So I bought a ticket for her. I sent it through her email. I told her to print it, put a uh, paste it on the item and send it back to me. But before I did it, I told her, please, have you used the item? She was like, no, I haven't used the item. Then please don't use the item. Don't use it. She was like, oh, I haven't used it. I just open it and check. I haven't used it. I said, okay. I bought the ticket and I sent to her. She shipped the item back to me. And I trusted the lady so much that when she shipped the item, um, I saw that there was this oil, oil, oil on the box. I thought it's only on the box. So I opened and checked. There was a plastic around the item and it was okay to me. It was okay. So I didn't open inside to check because I trusted it. So I only exchanged the bus since eh, there was oil on the bus she sent me. I exchanged the bus and I sent the orange to her and I put the blue color in the other box that there wasn't any oil on. So someone else bought the blue item. The person was in Germany and I shipped the item to Germany. And to my surprise, the lady used the item she used it but she lied and i made a mistake i trusted her so much i didn't check i contacted her oh auntie you used the item but you told me you didn't use it the person i that bought it have sent me pictures and it's like you have used it and you've washed it and there is oil on and the harsh words the person oh sister mavis i never use it Oh, what my messia film and nepa? What my messia film? Nippon so that Nippon is why a video. I to chat pictures. Ah, who 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 said they know you are used She was still denying it. Now, me dear chira, eh? I would have end up having issue with this lady. I'm like, let me stop. Let me stop. So the lady in. Germany, I pleaded with her and I told her that I'm going to buy, I, I'll buy it myself. I'll pay for the postage. She should ship it back to me. I'll pay for it. I will send her the ticket. She will ship it back to me and I will send her another one. But the lady was so kind. The lady was like, oh, I already have the item. I'll just wash it and use it. It's okay. She was so understanding. Thank God I got someone who was so understanding if it wasn't someone who was so understanding she would have also blasted me why have you sent a used item to me and a blab oh that is the stress stress that comes with selling items if you don't have patience you will end up fighting with everybody me i'm impatient too sometimes sometimes i'm impatient but when it comes to my selling really i try to have have a lot of patience
So I ended up, um, like the lady um, in Germany, she bought another item. I had to reduce the price for her to compensate her because she got a use item. Maybe she used it for once. I don't know. Yeah, because I think the item was with the other lady for just a week. So I guess she used it once and wash it and return it to me. And I ship, I didn't check. So I had to reduce the price and compensate her on her next item. So that is also one thing I learned the hard way. So yeah, guys. So if your client return an item or a product, kindly check to see if everything is intact with the item or with the product before you change you ship another one to them or before you return their money so that's all i will share for now you can ask me if you have any question you can ask me if you have anything you can also drop in the comment section or if you have any advice that you want to give it to me or you want to help me with in this side hustle that i'm doing please i will appreciate yeah if you enjoy watching this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs up kindly like this video for me share and please kindly subscribe to join my youtube family thank you all for watching and have a great day bye bye, -bye.